Hi, this is an introduction clip on the Sampo Rusilev Comia C12. The C12 has also features which you are able to find on the C10. So the difference is of course the pre-threshing cylinder on these ones. So otherwise what you see on this clip have the same features on, on each of these models. But let's start here at the front. There is this feeder elevator. And as you can see, uh, the feeder elevator here, it has manual tilting. This bar over here, where you also connect your header with this horn. You are able to manually tilt uh, from, from the cab. Um, otherwise, hooking up the header, we will talk through that on another clip, which is about the Komiya headers. So, so, but basically it's very simple with four pins on the, each side and, and then a coupling with the hydraulics and a PTO shaft. The elevator itself is with three chains and uh, it has divided bars as you see here. It's, that's for even up the, the mass when it's coming through through your header and header sizes you can fit this from from uh, 5.1 to 6.3 there are also 4.8 header but that's probably not so interesting because of the capacity wise this combine can handle headers up to 6.3 here on the right hand side you will are able to see the header reverser it's hydraulic and underneath that, where the reflector is, this bar, there's also output shaft for the, for the headers in case you are, are harvesting mice, mice or other equipment you are hooking up on this. Um, otherwise, you will see the service doors here. We have a big service door which are, uh, you are open with, with bolts. And uh, up here you have also uh, a service door you are able to see the whole upper shaft rolling there. And then of course you see the cylinder, cylinder uh, side on, on the chassis itself and you open that one which is all the way, all the way here. But open, opening those two service doors you are able to see the concave from, from there and, and are able to clean that up if, if necessary. Stone trap is located down here, if you are seeing. So with this bar, you are able to open it, close it. So very easy to access, just lift the elevator a little bit up and, and then, then access it from here. And uh, if you go to the other side, here you see the hydraulic coupling I was mentioning about. It also connects uh, electric connections. For instance, if you have header automatics like the HAC. So that is connected through that. And here you have the PTO shaft. Otherwise quite simple. You have the, as normal, the tightening of the chain on each side when, when you do the service and maintenance for that. And up here you have a slip clutch to protect the, the feeder elevator here. And this is, you can see on both C10 and 12. Lifting cylinders are, are 50 millimeters and if you are putting on corn headers, you, can, uh, you are able to put two more of, of lifting cylinders on each side. So, so even heavier headers are able to lift with this but as you have the serial headers it's just with two uh, a pair of, of 50 millimeter cylinders 